six AIs will be working together to make Fortnite from scratch, from absolute zero with no game engine, all under one hour. So yes, this timer is going all the way up to an hour. That's a lot of time. Now this may take more than an hour and that's fine, but each AI has the maximum of three prompts before I move on to the next AI. And we're running this idea back because I honestly think these six AIs can make a one-to-one -one copy of Fortnite working together. We have ChatGPT 5.2 thinking model, Grok 4.1 in expert mode, Perplexity AI, which you guys keep recommending me, so I'm going to use this video, DeepSeek AI, which is a Chinese AI model that is almost better than all these. And I need a VPN to run it, so just having this here took a lot of effort. Then of course we have Claude Opus 4.5. And to finish it all off, we have Google Gemini 3 Pro in the Google AI Studio, which it absolutely cooked up the last video so let's just get right to it and start the timer so i'm just telling chat 5.2 to make me fortnite from scratch that I can play right now and that I could build upon and to use any libraries necessary and i'm just gonna tell it to make this prompt better and i'm gonna give it back to itself and i'll do that for each ai so really what i need from chat is a good base here then i'll build upon it with grok which i'll just refine any errors probably make the graphics better then perplexity which i'm actually in the dark about i've never used it before so this would be our first time and deep seek which is very powerful can hopefully add fun functionality and more features to the game and Claude 4.5 will really take it to the next level and at this point we should be having basic building features I feel like and then Google AI Studio will really just refine it all. Alright so it just finished making the prompt so we're gonna paste it back in ChatGPT and let's see what chat makes us. This is the first prompt so if it doesn't do well here it does have two more chances so we can't use up all our time okay. Alright so ChatGPT is coding up a storm it's finally getting to it. I really think ChatGPT is gonna take it home here like 5.1 wasn't a crazy improvement. 5.2 though is a crazy improvement it's pretty good and in terms of like figuring out the mathematics behind this stuff and using 3js properly it does a really good job at making like base models so chat right now is honestly in the better of the six ais that we're using and it's good that we're using it first too no way it made a build system if we have a build system on the first iteration that's gonna be awesome all right so let's copy this and let's run it in vs code paste it fortnite clone html right, and let's open this okay so build plus battle prototype I like what i I see so far look at the background i'm excited to click play all right let's play oh my god what the heck is going on <laughs> oh, yeah, i'm actually confused look at the background bro are they all coming towards me i guess i'm this like thing and i have to like run away from them i guess because like a battery out and i i don't think i could leave the square okay i just keep on dying i'm losing hp is it because i'm like under the block okay yeah let's fix this second prompt i like it though so far it seems like something's going on i just don't understand it fully yet i told it that i keep losing health from the beginning and it seems that i spawn under the ground and i want my character model to be a little bit more human all right just finished Coding. Let's open it. Build plus battle prototype. I love the health and bars up here, by the way. Okay, play. Okay, it actually gave us a humanoid. Yo, this is fire. Okay, that guy killed me. All right, I, I'm kind of backwards though. When I press forward, it comes towards me. Shift is sprint. Okay, we can low-key kill them. Yeah, I keep dying because like when I go forward, it goes backwards. Backwards is forward. I think it's supposed to be oriented the other way. But so far, look at this though. I'm like prime ninja right now, bro. This is awesome. I'm prime Tifu. What is he doing? Oh, it's a hell. All right, this is not ridiculous, bro. This is not ridiculous at all. I like this. This is a really good start. The fact that ChatGPT really cooked this all by itself, bro, it's generally about to bring a tear to my eye. All right, let's move on to Grog to really like fix the fact that it's backwards. This last video, you guys said Grog and ChatGPT are kind of similar, but Grog is a bit worse. So you need to give it simpler prompts. Before we get deeper into this video, we are sponsored by the amazing Love Our AI, and it just added Nano Banana Pro. Now I get why people are hyping it up so much. Because Nano Banana Pro isn't just pretty images, it's smarter visuals, clean multilingual text inside the image, and it can keep character consistency for up to five people. Plus, you can mix a bunch of references and keep the style very coherent. But the real difference is Love Art turns the result into an actual design file on an infinite canvas. Just watch this. I can generate one image, then I use the touch edit, which I just control click right here and just say change this color and it only edits that part while keeping the whole composition intact and with edit elements it auto splits everything into layers background objects text so you're not re-rolling the whole image every time you can just edit also there's a flash sale right now up to 50 percent off and up to 365 days of unlimited zero credit access to nano banana pro if you want a pro smart you pro on love art link in the description anyways back to the vid all right we are at grok and we're just gonna give it the file that we just created with chat gpt all right so i'm just telling grok to build upon the Fortnite clone that ChatGPT already made. And when I press W, it starts going towards me rather than away. So I told it to fix that. And also, I don't like how it loses health even when no enemies are touching me. Basically, fix those three things. 
and our base model is completely polished and it is on expert mode so it should cook up here now grok you only have 40 minutes pretty much so ideally i would like to get this done in 10 minutes but this timer doesn't really matter honestly using all these ais are probably going to take up to like three hours so we're just going to see how much it could get done in under one hour i'm going to stop when we have a full playable fortnite bro these six ais will cook in this video you know what else is cooking you smashing that like button right now so it could get to 10k likes in 24 hours i will literally give away a pc also hit that hype button so you can go number one in america we've been going crazy with the hype buttons only mobile users can hit the hype button by the way so uh yeah and also subscribe bro we've been going crazy so if we could hit 100k in the next seven days before 2026 that would just make me cry bro grown man tears all right grog just finished so let's uh let's paste this bad boy and let's play it and okay nothing looks out the ordinary so far it actually built upon it so let's play and let's see if it did what we oh it did what we asked. Yes, we could shoot the we could shoot the things out of existence. And we don't lose health. Grok, you cooked. Oh snap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, ho, bro. I'm facing underway. And I have no ammo. All right. Oh, wait. Press B to go into build mode. Yo, we could build. We could build. Guys, yo, we're building. I'm Prime Ninja. I just built upon him. He can't even touch me. So we can build stairs and this thing. And then three is stairs. Okay. Yo, I am so proud of Grok right now. It really fixed the errors. We pre we have a Fortnite clone on our hands right now we're building we're shooting killing enemies oh my god i'm actually i'm actually having fun playing this freaking grok chat gbt clone of fortnite so since grok kind of just ironed out the errors it's now time for perplexity's turn so it's my first time using perplexity but uh we're just gonna try it out but i don't know the shrink to perplexity but i'm just gonna tell it to make this fortnite clone a bit better and to make the ui more fortnite like so that's not a super hard task. So I was gonna tell us to give me a better prompt to give it to itself. Dang, it read that file fast, like immediately. I did not know what perplexity was this fast. It already gave me my prompt. So, uh, all right, let's just use it. And let's use the lab feature. Cause it seems like that's, that's, oh. My bad, I'm back. I had to log in as a student so I could use this feature, which is labs to make projects from scratch. And it's coding. Perplexity is actually coding. I did not expect this for some reason. Also, guys, let me know if Perplexity is like its own AI or is it like a wrapper? It's usually just using an API and then routing the response to it. Either way, I like Perplexity and its UI. It's very easy to use. Let's see if it's powerful though. I didn't give it a crazy task. You know what I mean? I just want the UI to look a bit better. All right, Perplexity just finished. And... Here's the Fortnite clone. So let's let's press play. And we were eliminated. So it it definitely messed up on something. Okay. All right. So here it is. And I was immediately eliminated. Bro, what is even going on in the background? The UI definitely looks more Fortnite-esque though. That's something I can say. But is this? What is going on? perplexity I, I know perplexity is probably not meant for what we're what we just used it for but bro this is this is kind of crazy perplexity we're gonna have to skip you okay but this is probably a good ai to use for like students though all right perplexity did kind of just fail us but we do have deep seek and we're gonna use deep think so let's give deep seek the same exact prompt that we gave perplexity so let's give deep seek what perplexity should have done and let's just tell it to make the ui better so we're just gonna paste the exact same prompt into here i've used deep seek a couple times and bro it cooked up so so many projects for me in the past so i know it's good since i'm on like my school wi-fi i literally can't use deep seek without a vpn so deep seek is low-key on half its power level right now in terms of quickness because of the vpn and if it does mess up it will have two more chances the only reason we have to skip perplexity is because let's be honest it was not improving after that yeah i'm just gonna come back when deep seek is done this thing is taking a while bro Holy moly, I never would have thought I would have finished. All right, let's copy this code and let's see what Deep Seek cooked us. All right, the UI looks better. Fortnite clone. Let's press play. Oh my God. Deep Seek, bro. Deep Seek. Yo, the enemies actually look like people too. There's trees. Look, I can even see my mats at the bottom right, bro. Yo, Deep Seek cooked this up. All right, let's start building though because these guys are getting close to me, bro. We have to build a stair so they can't get to me. All right, R to rotate. Rotate, rotate, rotate. We have to build our stairs. All right. Stairs. Why did I just glitch through my own stairs? So this guy's not dying. He's tanking all my bullets. He might be Walter from Breaking Bad, bro. He's tanking all my bullets. But bro, look how beautiful, look how much better this looks. And this is deep sea. So the walls work though. Like I can't go through the walls, but I can go through my stairs. He can go through my, he can go through everything. This guy's like in the matrix or something. Anyways, this was an amazing rendition by deep sea. Oh my God. And the timer for one hour just completed too. All right now let's pass this to Claude, which I think will just freaking transform this thing on a big 
basic level in terms of like all the bugs and everything this is gonna this is gonna yeah this is gonna be a different game after we put it through claude no glaze all right we have claude opus 4.5 here so here's the basic prompt i'm about to give claude which is just to make my fortnite clone all around better and use any libraries or method it wants so i'm curious to see what's about to do here and i just listed the errors i currently have like when i phase through my stairs when i place it the mini map not showing the location correctly and the enemy and wave system which needs a little bit of polishing and i also just threw in there to make it look aesthetically more like fortnite and i want my player and the enemies to look more humanoid so let's tell it to make this prompt better oh my god God, it, it just skipped the it skipped making the prompt better it, it just went straight to coding bro what the heck so i guess i'll just come back when claude is done because guys you don't even want to sit through that all right surprisingly only took 10 minutes to code all that but here it is all right battle royale so let's play i like the ui play game yo what the heck why is the things black okay the things have health bars bro what the heck this is fire and why are the enemies so much smaller enemy eliminate on the side too all right now we're in wave two guys i cannot describe to you how fire this is okay wave two there's a lot of guys but let's try to build can i even test this out and let's do our stairs which is this and it looks more fortnite-esque yes our stairs work our stairs work guys let's freaking go let's do a little trick shot hold on now i'm feeling a little little trick shotty jump off Ooh. oh i have no ammo the mini map works as well even tells us where the enemies are it's a little dark but that's fine honestly i like how there's the legs are a little animated it's like animated everything is more humanoid and that's what claude is really good at doing it's good at just doing the basic things really well it's like a really good version of ChatGPT that can code better he even had the health bar stuff i didn't even ask it for so i guess all that's left to do is lob it to gemini studio to finish this game up there's no errors in this that i can see so far and like i just want it to visually look way better than this and i think gemini can take it there so we are in google ai studio with gemini 3 pro so i'm gonna give gemini a really nice prompt here to basically just improve this fortnite clone with better aesthetics overall and make it more adjacent to fortnite in its prime i'm talking like season 5 fortnite season 7 and i want a reload button and i just want to make things more vibrant and possibly give it better graphics as well gemini 3 pro please cook for me we need gemini to just take it there for us bro so far i've been recording this video for like two hours so we're really gonna see it cooked so well in the last video and it did it so fast so i'm not even expecting it to like take a long time here and usually what gemini is about to do is make a react app which is basically just an upscaled version of javascript and html that uses typescript but gemini also hit that like button already and they subscribe to the channel because they just want to see tef hit 100k sub so if you have not subscribed yet I will be coming after you. Yeah. All right. So Gemini is already coding. So I'm just going to come back to when it's done and we will test this bad boy out. Oh my goodness. This is, this is giving me a headache. All right. Let's reload the app and put it in full screen. For some reason, the camera angle is like really bad. I'm going to tell Gemini to fix this. Like I, I can't even see what's going on, bro. So let's finally run this back and let's see if it's better. All right. Full screen and play. All right. This is better. Oh, oh whoa. Why that actually scare me? All right. Our AR works. This is like this is fine don't get me wrong i kind of like what claw did better I like there there's no health bars you know what i mean but all i did just now was use gemini's last prompt just to add the health bars to the zombies because i personally just just liked how it looked this is like a semi playable like this you can probably put this on steam and make money. let's try building as well okay the wall and our stairs oh my gosh that zombie is about to kill me no i like the aesthetics of gemini but i also like the playability and the animation that claude did this feels so dumb bro oh my gosh